I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on fractions. Here is one of the most important question to think about. And normally, I get this question from my students. To add fractions, numerators of the fractions are added if they have the same denominator. For example, 4 over 15 plus 7 over 15 is, you add 4 and 7, you get 11, right? So what you do is you just add 4 and 7 and the denominator remains as 15 and you get your result as 11 over 15, correct? So that is how we add fractions. We need to have same denominator to add fractions, perfect. Now the question comes that we need to explain why the denominators are not added when the fraction has the same numerator. For example, 3 over 5 plus 3 over 10. You will, we see 3 and 3, same numerator, but we are not adding denominators. We don't add 5 and 10 to make it 3 over 15. This is wrong. The question here is why? We know this is wrong, but the question here is why? How do you explain it? How do we explain it? That is the major question which is going to be addressed in this particular video, right? So let's try to understand the concept <coughs> and we'll get to this why we are not adding the numerators, why we are not adding the denominators when the numerators are exactly same as in our case 3 over 5 plus 3 over 10. Well, think about it like this. When you add two positive numbers, then what happened? Then sum is greater than either both of them, right? Correct. So what I'm trying to say here is that the rule is that if I add something to 7, let's say 5, I get 12. We know 12 is greater than 7 and 12 is also greater than 5. Right? So when we add two positive numbers, we do get a sum which is always greater. Correct. So that's a rule. That is how our number system works. Perfect. Now see what happens. If I have 3 over 10 and 3 over 5, let me write 3 over 5 first, <clears throat> and 3 over 10. If you add the denominators, make it 15, 3 over 15, then what do you get? 3 over 15 is much, much smaller than both of them, right? So that gives you what? That gives you a number, 3 over 15, is smaller than 3 over 5 and 3 over 15 is also smaller than 3 over 10 correct therefore therefore it is incorrect Correct. So that is the idea. When you add, you expect a bigger number. But if you add the denominators, the number which you get will be 3 over 15. In this case, right? Whenever the denominator increases, the number value will decrease. Now that is not possible. When you add, you should get bigger answer, larger number. But here you get a smaller number and therefore this is wrong you get the idea, right? So that is the basis on which we can explain why denominators are not added if the numerators are same. Perfect. So what will you do to add them? We need to make their denominators same. Perfect. So what we will do here is we'll multiply both terms by 2 to make their denominators same. So we'll get 6 over 10 plus 3 over 10 and we'll add it to get 9 over 10. So that will be the correct answer. So the steps in adding always will be to make common denominator, then add numerator, which is this statement given here, 
right? So that is how we add. So we'll take up many examples in our series and understand how to efficiently add fractions with different denominators and we'll also work with mixed numbers. I hope you find it interesting and I hope you have also understood why denominators are never added. Perfect. When you add denominators, you will get a much smaller number which will be wrong. I hope you understand and appreciate this concept. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.